usually y'all I would be cussing that's what stay at home mom life does to you you know um, my priorities is clearly not my appearance you know my appearance is clearly not my priority right 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 Lord have mercy God What's going on YouTube fam bam? It's Des with Dad's Crazy Life and I am back with another video. Y'all, so uh, last week and this week has been quite the week. Um, I've been doing good, eating good, I'm still slowly gaining weight, but you know, slow progress is still progress, you know, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, so I just, I just wanted to check in with you guys. Um, yesterday, Tyler did develop a fever um, and uh, we medicated him. We had to medicate him twice. And um, after that, we didn't have to medicate him anymore. He didn't have any lesions, any um, bumps or rashes or uh, anything like that. No bites or anything like that. So he's good to go. Um, I am going to get him an at-home COVID test later today and then test him. Um, but he has been holding strong at 97 degrees since uh, 3 a.m. So, well, Daddy said he was 97 degrees um, at like midnight. So, and when I checked him at 3 a.m., he was 97.2. I did test him again um after trey got on the school bus so it was around uh 7 45 8 o'clock and again he was 97 4. so um he's holding strong i'm gonna continue to monitor his temperature uh every few hours i'll check it and um like i said i am gonna get him a COVID test but other than that, there he's not sneezing, coughing, no runny nose, nothing like that. He just had a fever. Um, and his fever was pretty up there. It had got pretty high. So uh, we did medicate him twice. And we are alternating Tylenol and um, uh, ibuprofen. So um, just keep us in your prayers, you guys. Um, I don't, I'm not really concerned I mean obviously we kept him out of school today because he just you know we want to monitor him ourselves and not risk him making someone else's child sick right we don't want to do that and today's Friday so he'll have Friday Saturday and Sunday so we're gonna check him out thoroughly he he's playing jumping around now like nothing happened so um, yeah, so we shall see how everything goes. But I'm keeping him lifted up in prayer. And I, I'm trusting God that uh, he'll be fine. So um, I'm I'm just as a precaution doing what I'm supposed to do as a good mom. Uh, assessing him every few hours and making sure that he's good to go. I don't anticipate um, him having an issue. But, you know. I'm going to do what I can do for sure. But you guys, I'm doing great health-wise as well. Um, I have been feeling pretty fantastic. Um, so, you know, next week is my appointment. I'm going to the doctor. Uh, I have my appointment on the 17th next week. And um, so I'm excited. I, I'm I'm excited. Next Wednesday I'll be having that appointment and I will of course give you guys an update. And um it's raining now. And uh yes, the bonnet. Yes, the bonnet is real. I am in between getting my hair done. Every time I say, you know what, I'm gonna go get my hair done. I don't set an appointment, of course. Um I I you know, I'd be like, I'm gonna go get my hair done. And then y'all I start watching a show or a movie and then I get go into this binge of watching movies or watching TV shows and then I don't go get my hair done so that's what stay-at-home mom life does to you you know um, my priorities is clearly not my appearance 
you know, my appearance is clearly not my priority, right, 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 but, um, yeah, so, just saying, sorry, you guys have to take this in, but it is what it is, y'all, it is what it is, y'all, this past week, I'm gonna tell you, all I've done is watch YouTube, all I've done is watch all of our YouTube community, you know, I've benched watched so many videos, and then I'll, like, get hooked on a TV show, you know, or a movie, like, you know, I'll, or I'll scroll through TikTok, or, you know, that's all I've been doing all week, I've just kind of been a bed potato, and, um, been eating right, and, um, working out, and, uh, just, just enjoying myself and keeping myself in a positive space. Um, I've been doing a lot of meditation, a lot of praying, and uh, just really focusing on the things that I'm grateful for in life and um, letting go of things that I cannot control. And so that's, that's pretty much what I've been doing. And I must say, I feel a thousand times better you know I, I feel so good because you know it's you can always find something to be thankful for you can always find a positive in anything you know in most things let me say that because nothing's absolute in most things you can find a positive spin right and um, two times this week um, I almost had an accident <laughs> two times and it's crazy one time it would have been my fault if the car is connected and uh, one time it would not have been my fault so uh, here's what that looks like so um, this week I think the other day I was driving back and a 18 wheeler there's a part in the expressway where you're on this major highway and it merges with another highway and it's a steep bend like well a sharp bend there are other lanes merging through right so this 18 wheeler clearly saw me right there i blew my horn and everything well, he proceeded to still come over on me. There was a truck beside me. So I couldn't go like out of his way into the next lane. And there was a car right on my bumper. So I couldn't slam on my brakes. So I had to slam my foot on the accelerator and, um, accelerate very quickly and I did I like when I hit the accelerator she went wrong you know so and then I immediately took my foot off the accelerator because I didn't expect to go to jump that fast like I jumped really quickly and so um I immediately took my foot off the um, accelerator and um, I did not lose control of the car and nor did I panic in that situation. I did not panic or anything. Um, and it's it's so amazing. I was completely calm, completely focused on what I needed to do. I did not panic at all. And I wasn't even scared. It's crazy. Like I was like, what this it, this this positivity thing. I like it. I like it a lot. Like, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this. And because like the thought came, just speed up. You know, that's what happened. The thought came, speed up. So I sped up and all was well. Um, and then the other time it was me and all my kids in the car. I had just picked up, um, I think I had just picked up Trey. Um, because Trey did not start riding the school bus until Tuesday. So this had to be on Monday. So um, all my kids were in the car with me. 
and um, we was coming out of a family dollar and to my right uh, the car was a good ways back I could have made it and to my left if I came out right away I could have made it as well so I came out another car jumped out in front of that car that was a good little ways away and so that I was already in the middle of the street y'all that car that came out like maybe um, 30 feet away from me would not let me out. So I'm in the middle of the street trying to get into the lane. I'm already in the middle of the street. That car quickly jumped out in front of me and blocked me. So there was this huge cement truck coming and then there was another truck that was once far away but now it's right there. And so the other car went on and moved and again i remained calm my kids were freaking out but i remained calm and um i knew it was going to be okay so the other guy just went on and stopped and let me on out so i got out and i got in the lane and all was well now the car that blocked me that saw that i was already in the middle of the street turning and turned in front of me anyway to stop me so then everyone had caught up to me um that car was stopped when we got just a few yards up the street he was stopped so he was rushing just to get to a a, a red light or a stop sign or it, it was some traffic up there you know but again i did not get upset Usually, y'all, I would be cussing. I didn't do none of that. I was, I didn't even have the thought to do any of that. I was fine. And then I was like, see, kids, God is able. He's always with us, you know. Everybody say, thank you, Jesus. And they were like, thank you, Jesus, you know. So, um, yeah, and Trey was like, that was ridiculous. That guy, I said, baby, don't let him get you upset. Don't let them get you upset. That's that's what they want. You don't give them your energy. Don't even feed into that negativity, okay? And he was like, "Yes, mama." You know, so I just I just had a phenomenal week and a great last week, and I'm just y'all, I am I'm I'm loving this new positive uh this, these positivity vibes that I got going and um, you know and I know it is prayer prayer and more prayer and it's the fact that you know when you're talking to God on a regular basis and communion uh, with God and you know just being super thankful you know telling God every day how much you thank him for this 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 and this you know, just finding something to thank him for, something to be grateful for. And it's not hard, really. It's not hard to be grateful for what you have and, you know, in some instances, what you don't have, you know. But, um, so I said all that to say, you know what, I haven't posted a video in so long. Let me go on and throw a video up. <laughs> because, you know, um, the stuff that we do, most of my subscribers don't like to watch it. So I don't even bother making a video for it. If it's a video that I know is not gonna perform well, I don't even post it. You know, we just, we do it for our family memory, you know? So we're still doing the pranks and stuff, but um, I'm not gonna post something, take the energy and edit and do all that. And then I barely get views on it. You know, I get under a thousand views. I'm, I'm not going to waste my time putting in all that effort to post something. I will enjoy the moment with my kids and then I will um, just keep it for my children. So I post it, but I have it private where no one can see it, but um, my kids and my hubbiton and, and my mom, if she ever decide to click the link that we sent her a text message of which she never does so <laughs> so yeah so yeah we've we've been doing the pranks and stuff but we've we've just been keeping it um to our family and you know for fun stuff that we like to do and stuff like that i'm living life 
and focusing on living life and enjoying life with my kids. And um, yeah, so um, that's what I've been doing. So um, I was like, oh, I haven't done a video in like three days. Let me go on and post the video. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Dads with Dads Crazy Life. Signing off. Bye, guys.